to make wudu in less than that. This is too much. <coughs> this is too much. If you are already had made wudu and you have your socks on, we will see how many times you're going to make enough for you to make wudu. So, we'll start first of all. I don't think this is so sorry, I'm just turning the microphone. I prepare myself by rolling my sleeve and I would say as well Bismillah that's the most important Bismillah is compulsory and we said the person who knows it's, it's compulsory yet uh, he does not do it then his prayer is in bad his wudu is in bad so now I'm gonna start with the recommended act so I'm gonna put some water and that's what I need like that so that's one so i'm gonna okay and there is like this which is the knuckles as well if you remember they are from the point that corresponds to the nature of monkey remember that's the barrage so that's once and that is two once is enough but three times is the best Imam Ahmad, when he used to make wudu, he hardly wet the sands underneath. He hardly wet the sands underneath. That means the land still dry. Right. Now after that, I'll take with my right and some water. And I'll put some of it in my mouth, some in my nose. <laughs> so I've got from there and from there. So I have, with what we say, we've got two birds and one stone. So that's once, <laughs> twice, and he's asked to do something to close the book, three times. That's three times. Now the face. Face, I'll show what is the face. Face is what is facing you. So it's not, this is not from the face. Okay? So. That's called the face. But that's not from the face. That's not from the face. This is the face. <coughs> Up to the earlobes and just on the chin. That's what's facing you. Okay? That's the face. That's once. Okay. That's the two. <coughs> and that's three. I'll finish with my face. After that, I go to the arms. So the arms, you could do it this way or another way. I'll show you this first way. You could do it like that. So go like this. Okay. This is one. But also the Prophet will sell them. If you haven't done the hands in the beginning, I have to make sure that all the hands are done. But I've done it. Also the Prophet used to do it like this. Put it on the elbow, like that. So that's two, two, and that is three. Okay, I'll finish from the right hand, and then I will do that. A left. So that's one. And that is two, and that is three. Now I've done, I left something for you to remember what it is. You'll tell me later on. Right, now after that, I go to the head. The head is wetting. So water, I leave it. This is what is wet. And I go like this, and like that. Now, whatever is remaining in my finger, this index is inside, and the thumb is from outside. Once. I could do it three times if I want. Okay, that's two. And three. Okay. Last thing is the foot. 
Now the foot, if you are having wudu already and you had your socks on before, like me, I could just do like that. Okay? Finish. That's my wudu. So this is the cold sun. But if I had no wudu before, and I want to wash the feet, and remember the feet, the other one who takes most of the water. It's the feet. So we'll go to the feet and we shall have to wash it. Okay? So I'll just fold them to the ankles here and I've got coins in my pocket. <laughs> okay, that's one, two, okay, and three. Now I could do it's called takhleel between the toes. And I use a little one because if I use this, it's going to injure me. But this one is just to make it easy. After all, I like to use the the kinsa, uh, which is the little one, little finger. Right, that's the first foot, which is the right. And then the second foot, which is the left. Okay. And the more you are fit and agile, the more easy it will be. But if you are fat, you're going to have difficulty. Yeah, then you need to have help. Okay, that's right. I have used a lot of water for my foot. Never mind, because I know I could afford that, you see? <laughs> right, I finished now. Something I left, what is that? Anyone? Oh. Huh? Yeah, very good. That beard, I could do it after the face. I could do it at any place. That is, like this. Okay. Or I could do like this. I've done it when I've done my face, but this is another one. I could do like this, or I could do with putting your fingers. That's called takhli. That's true. I am now ready. Huh? The beard. No neck. Last thing, is it? Hmm? No. Last thing. No, no, no. no, no. I said you could do it at any place. You could do it after the face. You could do it. You could do it. So it's called takhli. Yeah. Takhli, it was not narrated. When exactly it is, it is part of the wudu, so you could the best place to do it is when your face. So after your face, you could do after the face, you could yes. put water like that. Okay. All right. Okay. okay, that's called the wudu. Now, as I said, what I have done is actually I have exaggerated in my wudu. Mm. I would use less than that. Now that is less than the half. That's a quarter of it, or a third of it. I would say. I could use another two wudu from this. Now you could see see how much you could, I mean that water. This one, I made wudu once for it. I used it four times in making wudu. Okay, and I remember when we were doing the Jum'ah in one of the places in Jordan, we were four brothers. There was no water except for a little one, which is to fill up just about bigger than this, a bit. And four of us made wudu for the Jum'ah. I remember that day. And we could really now appreciate the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of this water. This is to appreciate it. But for some people, subhanAllah, that for the tap, running. while the tap is running, he's rolling his sleeves. And he's smiling. The tap is running. And you are just looking at the water, subhanAllah. Imagine that water is money. Would he make that money run away? Like, no way, stop it. The water is running. He doesn't care. There's water, there's plenty of water we have. No, we don't have plenty of water. So the Prophet told us, don't exaggerate, don't be extravagant. Don't be extravagant. This is extravagance. It's not allowed. Why? Because this is the blessing of Allah. Even if you are next to a river, you use the water, which is, you know, just enough for you. Now, I have used the water, and that is what is left from my limbs. You see, Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ali ibn one day, he said, he brought the wudu like this. Okay, so what he did, not a bottle, it was like a, you know, like a container, bowl. So he just did this, drank from it, and then he made wudu, and then he drank after that from what is left. And he said, I saw the Prophet doing this. But he said, he drank standing up. What Ali al Talibi did, he called for the wudu, and he drank from it first, and he made wudu, and then he stood up and drank from it because he believed that some people dislike drinking standing up. So he said, the Prophet of Allah, I've seen him doing this. 
Now, radiallahu anhu wa ba'ali Nabi Talib, yes, he saw the Prophet drinking standing up, but drinking standing up is not right, it's prohibited. How can Ali ibn Talib does this? And he saw the Prophet of Allah. Yes, he saw the Prophet of Allah. But he doesn't know that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, don't drink standing up. He told off a person, don't drink standing up. And he saw him drinking standing up. He said, do you like that the cat to drink along with you? He said, no, Masjid Allah. He said, worse than the cat drank with you. Shaitan, vomit. Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, if the person knows what's happened to his belly, inside his stomach, if he drinks standing up, he would have vomited. So the Prophet of Allah, Zajar, Zajar means to tell you off and as well to rebuke you. Why he tell you drinking standing up? So, so how come Ali ibn Talib is saying that the Prophet of Allah drank standing up? Yes, he did from his actions and it could be for a reason. It was at the time of the Hajj al-Wada, the farewell Hajj. The Prophet wasallam was teaching the people the rituals of the Hajj. So for example, he did his Hajj on top of his camel. And not only that, he touched the black stone with a stick. Because he can't reach it with his hand. We can't do this it's for the sake of teaching. Then the Prophet will not drank standing up for a reason. Why? Because he teaches the people. Number two, he drank Zamzam as well because of the stampede. He used to be standing up. Sitting down, he might have stampede. And also one day the Prophet will he saw a water skin which is heavy. So he had to drink standing up. He can't put it down because it's heavy. The water skin is massive. So he was hanging. So he stood up and he drank from it standing up. So it was for a reason. So always remember, words of the Prophet of Allah takes precedence over the actions. Because the actions is for a certain reason. Whereas the words of the Prophet of Allah is for the general mass of the Ummah. I'll give you another example. Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, don't face nor turn your back to the Qibla when you urinate or pass feces. But he himself, the Prophet of Allah, was seen urinating with his back towards the Qibla. Who saw him? Abdullah ibn Umar, you remember? He was on the top of the house of his sister Hafsa. And he saw the Prophet of Allah towards the Sham. So his back was to the Kaaba because he was facing north, Qibla the Sham. And his back was towards the Qibla because remember, Medina is between Sham and Mecca. So he was facing the Sham. So behind him was the Qibla. And he was urinating. Then the, some of the scholars they said, well, inside the house or inside the building is no problem, there's a barrier. But in the open space, then you have you cannot face nor turn your back towards the Qibla. We say this is wrong. The correct opinion is that you're not allowed to do that because this is the word of the Prophet of Allah. As for his actions, it could be for a certain reason. Either one, number one, he didn't know the direction properly in the toilet. Number two, it could be before the prohibition. Number three, he could have to do that because of certain issues. So one of them is saying, Abdullah ibn Umar, he saw something which he's not supposed to see. When he climbed on top of the house of his sister, he's not supposed to see that anyway. So the Prophet of Allah, he was, for example, not aiming for Abdullah ibn Umar to watch him while he was doing this in order to convey to the Ummah. So the Prophet of Allah, he told us to drink sitting down. Ali ibn Talib drank sitting standing up because he saw the Prophet of Allah, but it doesn't mean that drinking standing up is 